Hey, welcome back my friends. Mark Thomas, the home builder here. Today I'm doing a follow-up video review on the Vincent Products wood dock log holder. And this holds up to an eight inch log that you can cut with your chainsaw. There's a few different ways that you can mount this. You may have seen my other videos. Well today, it's a follow-up to some comments I've heard. I made a slight modification to it, pretty simple, yet I think it's gonna be very effective. You wanna see what I did? Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm gonna take a quick minute and just show you how this works. To see the full in-depth, please go to my other video. I'll have a link to that at the very end of this video and down in the description below. Here's the log holder. And it, I have an accessory right here. This is a hitch mount. And when that's, that's put in there, it, this can swing maybe about 45 degrees, somewhere in there. So that's mounted. Grab any log up to eight inches in diameter, put it in, and now you're ready to saw. One of the objections that came up, they were saying that the fact that this swings could be dangerous. The owners from Vincent Products, the manufacturers, they say there's enough downward pressure from your saw, it keeps this from swinging. So you should be able to effectively cut it and the swinging part shouldn't be an issue. But I'm gonna show you my modification to keep this from swinging. So stay tuned. All right, you ready for this? I have this 5 16 pin right here, picked up at Tractor Supply. And I drill through this and through this a hole, just barely bigger than 5 16 Slide the pin in, lock it in place, there. Let's see how that works now. Okay, so I'm ready to get started on it. As you can see, I've got a log there in the wood dock. The pin's in place. It's not gonna sway side to side. It's nice and stable. I'm real happy so far the way that it's holding. Before I get started, I do wanna just take a quick minute to say that I, I try my best to promote wearing safety, like eye protection, ear protection, gloves. I have Kevlar uh, chaps made by Labanville. They're very high-end chaps. So I try to have all the safety measures in place. So um, the other thing I want to mention is I know my chain is dull and I only have a little window of opportunity today to film this. So um, just please hold the, back the comments on the dull chain. But anyways, you'll get the gist of it. Let's get started. Here we go. seven or eight footer. Another piece. If you're trying to cut this land in the ground, good chance that you would dull your blade. So let's just lift it off the ground. It's locked securely in place. Okay, so what do you think? Having a 5 16 pin and the hole drilled through this, is that a good modification? I think so. If you don't like the way that that's locked in place and you want to be able to swing and rotate, all you do is just simply take the pin out. There you go. So if you like my video, 
please comment and subscribe and give me a thumbs up. It really helps support my channel. Thanks for watching, my friends. See you next time.